hello friends welcome to my channel civil smart today we are going to design a cantilever beam so we have a condition that design a cantilever projects 2.5 meter beyond the fixed end and carries a live load of 12 kN per meter and width of the support is given as 350 m use m20 and fe415 so we will design this cantilever beam through this spreadsheet we will find the effective depth by putting our inputs in these ping cells then we will calculate the self weight and the design load calculation next step is the effective span calculation next is the banding moment calculation will be done by this step 4 tension steel or the main bar at the top steel because we all know that in the cantilever beam the tension will occur at the top because this will if the load will be act over this is the free end this is the fixed end the bending of this beam will be like this and the tension will be occurred at the top and the compression at the bottom so the main bars will be at the top steel and the compression bar will be at the bottom or minimum bar next is the shear reinforcement shear reinforcement will be calculated by this in step 6 next is the development length how much the bar should be inserted in the column next is the deflection check and finally the design summary will be occurred and this is the detailing part and section at the fixed end and section at the free end so let's start what we have given we have given the length of the clear span is 2.5 meter so l by d ratio by this in i we all know that for the l by d ratio for the cantilever is l by d span by depth ratio is 7 simply supported is 20 and l by d for continuous beam is 26 so in our case this is the cantilever beam so it has been taken as 7 so effective depth is 357 come out by this because clear span is 250 divided by 7 is 357 if we take the higher value 370 assume clear cover we have assumed for the beam as 20 and assume the bar die as 20 by this formula overall depth is 400 mm calculated and now b is two third of small d so b is calculated as 246 so we will assume the b as 250 mm fck is given as 20 mm and fp 415 and w live load is given as 12 kN per meter and the support width is 350 so we will see that the sulfate has already been calculated w d sulfate of the beam p into d d has already been calculated as 400 mm so 2.5 kN meter live load is 12 so overall load is 14.50 and ultimate load is 1.5 times of w so 21.75 this is the clear span this is the support weight effective span has been calculated by this uh, two conditions are there l plus d by 2 or l plus support width by 2 right so minimum of these is 2675 this is the banding moment diagram mu has been calculated and this is the shear force diagram so next is the banding moment calculation mu is calculated w into l effective by square by 2 77.82 banding moment in negative direction moment coefficient for the different grade of steel we are using fe415 as per is 456 this is 0.138 so you have to assume this 0.138 so mu limiting is calculated by this formula 94.46 d required by if you calculate by d required is calculated as 338 and we have provided d as 370 then it's okay and mu mu is 77 and mu limiting is 94 so mu is less than mu limiting so under reinforcement pt is calculated by this formula 0.75 percent ast has been calculated pt into b into d upon 100 now we have to assume the bar dia so if you are assuming 16 mm dia so four number bars are required at the top steel right and for the minimum steel at the bottom if you use 12 mm so two number of bars are required so if you ch change the bar dia so number of bars will be changed so we are using 16 mm dia so four number of bars are required shear reinforcement we use in calculated as w into l 58.18 tau v is calculated as 0.629 ast at the support is 803 and percentage of pt provided is 0.87 so we need to calculate the tau c value from table 19 is 456 
so interpolation will be there so 0.87 percent percent daily so it will lie between 0.75 and 1 right and 0.75 and 1 m20 we are using at points 75 this value is 0.56 and this is 0.62 so we have to put here 0.56 and this is 0.62 so interpolation will be done 0.589 will be there tossy value now this is shear bar required because tovi is greater than tossy right so vus is calculated this is 3.74 kilonewton if we assume 8 mm dia stirrup and two legged stirrup then you can see that esv has been calculated sv by this formula this much is sv maximum spacing as per is 456 300 mm 0.75 d 277 sv minimum is 362 and sv calculated is 3589 so minimum of four of these will be taken as the spacing 277 and round off value is 270 so two leg stirrups 8 mm dia two leg stirrup 8 mm dia at the rate 270 mm center to center so we have calculated the CR reinforcement next is the development length top bd we have to take for m20 top bd is 1.2 so by this formula it's been calculated 752 ld provided is 760 greater than that this deflection check for the reflection check we have to calculate these values these values already being calculated pt provided is 0.81 so we have to move this upward direction and F fs is 206 and this value is 1.1 so if we put 1.1 here so we will see span by depth maximum is 7.7 .7 and span by depth we have provided as 6.76 so this is okay right so now all the criteria has been calculated and we have designed the cantilever beam so these are the design summary you can see the width of the beam effective depth we have already calculated earlier so it has been put up up there right so these are the detailing part you have to know this thing that the maximum bending movement will be at the fixed end and at the minimum bending movement will be at the free end so the bars will be curtailed at a distance l by 2 right if we are using four number of bars 16 m dia so at a distance l by 2 2 will be curtailed here and 2 will be go throughout and the beam will be tapered at the free end because the bending movement at the free end is minimum so we can use the minimum value as 150 mm right so overall depth is 400 mm this is the ld there is a development length right and these are the section section at the fixed end fixed end section four number of bars 16 mm dia width of the beam capital d two number bars of the hanger bars minimum at the bottom and this one at the free end right so if you change your data according to the value 2.8 you can see 2.8 you can see the depth value has been changed you need to go for higher value and already all these values l effective is being changed this has been changed mu and cfo's value has been changed number of bars is 4 2 and these all values has been changed 8 mm dia 3 and mm center to center so friends this is the actual sheet used for design of the cantilever beam if you like this video please subscribe the channel and if you want this actual sheet please whatsapp me or mail me on my mail id thanks for watching